Okay, folks, our grass is obviously still dormant, um, but Cameron is out here learning and I don't know, is the mower learning too? Is this Bobby? Is Bobby learning? Well, we still haven't decided on a name, but. Okay. Um, I, well, mostly this is for me. I just set up a little sample area, like it's not gonna do the whole yard. Uh -huh. and I just set up a, a little area for it to go over and try to mow. I wanted to see how fast it moves. How quickly it comes off the charger and stuff so when we build the garage we make sure it's adequate um, you mean that there's enough time for the garage door to come up before the uh, robot bolts out yeah so it doesn't and, hit the door and make sure that the garage is large enough the opening is large enough for it to be able to back into and and all of that so it's really just a test run to kind of see okay uh, and you said that there are blades in there but it's the grass is too short yeah, I, well, I could lower the blades. Right now it's set at about a three inch cut depth, um, but obviously the grass is not that long, so it's it's not really cutting anything. Um, yeah. But it's going through its pattern. So how um, fast can it go? As fast as you see it going. Okay. I, so. said, I said it's a max speed just for my test. Okay. It's, it's around, uh, it's a little less than two feet per second, I think is the units they use. Okay. So what's it doing right now? Is it thinking or? It's mowing. It thinks it's mowing. The same. I said it. Oh, uh, okay. For it to mow and oh. I told it to go mow it. I see. So it goes back and forth across it. As you see it doing, you know, it turns around and makes stripes. Okay. Um, you can choose the angle you want those stripes to be. When that gets done, it will mow a perimeter to clean up any spots. Because like when it turns around, it doesn't necessarily get all of the grass but it overlaps its stripes so that it gets the grass as it cuts stripes and then it will do I mean it's currently set for three passes so it'll do three perimeters to clean to clean everything up around the edges. Okay. So what do you think so far? takes it a while to acquire satellites, the GPS satellites for positioning. Why do you think that is? I, I don't know yet. I posted a question. It might just be that it needs a little bit of time. Um, but it, I, I, it's just something that I've noticed that seems strange to me. So I'll monitor it and see how it goes. For those of you who don't know, satellites are Cameron's, one of Cameron's areas of expertise. And so he would understand this more than most people would, and yet yes. still you're a little stumped about why this one isn't picking up. Is it where the antenna is? Is it where? Well, the antenna is right on top. No, I mean yes. the the one on the garage. Doesn't that have something to do with it? Well, that one seems to be working fine. It okay. Doesn't seem to be having trouble getting satellites. Um, so we'll see. We'll see what the responses are. The forum I posted in has representatives from the company, so I'm sure they will see my question and answer. Okay. Have you tried a grade yet? Have I tried? Oh, no. On the hill on the side of the house? Yeah, no. But everybody online seems to think it doesn't have any trouble with, with those. Okay. And this will cut, like, designs and stuff into the yard. Like, I could do a peace sign. You could, yeah. Get in trouble with the HOA. So, well, and you said that you think that with the whole yard, the backyard, the sides and all that, you think it'll take a couple of hours to mow? Uh, I don't know for sure until I get it all set up, but. Seems like kinda, it wouldn't. Kinda, yeah. You're not going to always want to cut at full speed. Oh. Either, probably, but I don't know. Now see, there looks like a, there's like a perky patch right there that's green, but no, he's not going to go over it. Very good. It's a nice day for doing this, anyway. Yep. I wish it never got any warmer. <laughs> of course, if it didn't, we probably wouldn't need this mower, huh? Maybe not. Grass would stay mostly dormant. Well, it's starting to wake up. Yeah, but it looks like awful. It's all flat. Yeah. From the snow, probably, huh? 
Oh, and be important. I think it's doing the perimeter now. The perimeter of what you set it for, not the perimeter of our actual yard. Yeah. So you still need to teach it. Yeah, but I'll, and I also need to get the charger in the right position. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I still need to teach it all over the yard, which. Oh, very interesting. I'll come a uh, little further. I wasn't very smooth with my lines, so. I see. All right, well, we're all in the learning phase then, right? Yep. Okay, well, thanks for talking to us. Okay, so I don't know if you guys can really tell. Cameron says he thinks this is about a 28% grade. Uh, oh, 26, sorry. Well, it's not what I expected it to do. I thought it was going to go back and forth. Well, it hasn't started yet. Oh. I see. So one of the things that we were curious about and asked questions about was how it would handle a slope, a grade. Uh, because we have, I don't know, this is pretty deceptive in the video, but it, it's actually pretty steep. Um, I don't know if I can really convey that. But I guess we're going to find out now. This is not at all what I was hoping for in terms of... Yeah, I thought it would start over there since it was near that side, but... We could try to restart it over here and see if it goes to that side. Of course, downhill is no problem. trying to get lined up and it's slipping in the grass some so it's having a little bit of trouble and I have it set for these multi-point turns um, because they should tear the grass up in this uh, and also it has a little bit of control. Okay. and you said that this weighs about 40 pounds uh, I think so well it's a lot lighter than Bobby's tractor it's probably weighing in it what, five, six hundred pounds? Those tractors are upstairs. Yes, right. So do you think that for the purposes of, you know, like day to day, you know, making it mow, do you think it should run up and down this hill or do you think it should run back and forth? might win an award for the most boring. I'm gonna, well, let's see. Yeah, 
Now I'm going to stop it now and I'll, I'll come back when it gets to the steep part. All right, we're getting to the steeper part of the hill. And again, I just don't feel like I'm really showing you. Um, but it, it is, it is a bit of a grade. So this was one of the most important things that we wanted to understand because it wasn't worth buying if it wouldn't take this hill, slope, whatever you want to call it, um, pretty readily. So we've been watching it and so far uh, it doesn't seem to have any problems getting up the hill. It slows down a lot when it's at the bottom here. And Cameron explained that, what do you call it, a differential? Differential steering. Differential steering. So the wheels in the back turn at different rates of speed, and the wheels in the front don't turn. Well, they do turn, but they don't. They're, it's a four-wheel drive, so they all want to drive. But to get it to turn, the back wheels rotate at different speed than each other to make it turn. The front wheel has, I forgot what they're called, but there's these little roller thingies on there that allow the front to, uh, to turn without much friction. So that's what allows it to turn around. Uh, there's the differential drive with the back wheels that are making it turn. Okay. The, the front wheels don't steer. Maybe that's the better word to use. Oh, okay. They do turn and they rotate, but they don't steer. So you said something a minute ago off camera about it trying to find north. No, I said that I set it to mow at an angle. Like you have these angle settings, so you can choose which direction you want your stripes to be in. Okay. But it doesn't necessarily align that with the area. I assume it was probably lining it, aligning that angle with north. And why do you assume that? Um, because it doesn't necessarily have an understanding of the layout of the yard. Because you haven't so, taught it yet. Right. Okay. So once you do teach it, what is it going to use as a... I guess reference point? Is that what we're talking I about? Assume north will be the reference point. Okay. I don't know until I've used it some more, but I set it at a 90 degree angle and it's roughly 90 degrees to where north is, so I assume that's what it's using, but I could be wrong. Huh. Okay. So, well, I think we know that it will do the hill. We don't know whether it'll go parallel to the house because you said it could be fighting the hill the whole time. Yeah, well, I, I assume it probably will, but it, again, it, it's going to be, the hill's going to try to be turning it downhill, and so it's going to have to be kind of constantly doing this differential steering to stay on the hill, which means it might start making marks in the yard. Okay. I'm also seeing we do want to be very careful and probably not try to move this side when it's wet. Yeah. I mean, you shouldn't really know when it's wet with this water anyway, but um, it's going to slip a lot when it's wet. Yeah. That's going to get interesting when we get these big rainstorms that last for three, four, five days. The grass is going to be high. Yeah. We'll have to see what happens. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't may end up having to get a small mower for me to be able to do things when it see when that happens. Yep. Okay. Well, I think we've proven, you said that this this area here is the steepest part of the grade? Yeah, kind of where it is. At the bottom of where it is right now, it's kind of the steepest part. Okay. So it went up there, no problem. Yeah. So that's good. Okay.